Well, John, congratulations. Good uh, three points that we were desperately needed in the end of the day, I think. I think you'll be as happy, if uh, not more, than anybody else here today. Aye, aye, it was a very hard fought, and I don't think it had, it had to be, to be honest. You know, I thought we had so much control of the game in the first half, we could score the goal that counted, that uh, I was disappointed with the second half, to be honest, if, if the truth be told. I should be elated with the victory because obviously we were very determined to get that today and we're competing well and doing the right things but I thought we should have a better control of football in the second half and actually made it a bit harder for them. But we got what we had to do today, you know, we needed to get the three points we managed to get them so um, you know, it's credit to the guys for sticking at it and we got over the line which was the important thing. Yeah, I thought we got off to a good start but uh, I think the first half was probably our half. Yeah. Um, we showed a little bit more grit and determination than we did on yeah. last Tuesday night. Um, Ray Henderson had a couple of efforts, yeah. McNeil had a tremendous save by the, uh, the keeper um, and I thought he, you know, they were hanging on a little bit at the end of the first half. I think the you know the system they played helped us. You know we, we tried to get Sandy coming in the game today. He became a free player in midfield, and that was important for us today. You know, so Sandy was making his first start, and I wanted him to, to have an impact in the whole game. You know, and obviously he's a player that I think can get the crowd on the feet when he plays well. You know, so we wanted to get him on it, and he was unfortunate that he hit the post too short. You know, it's and I thought it was going in. I was actually celebrating at the time, but uh, that was one of a few. And um, you know, we really had to get in front earlier than we did. You know, it was a problem I think today, and it became a bit of a nervous affair after that. And all credit to Manchoras, you know, they battled back, you know, they're not here to uh, to roll over and die, they're here to try and get a result. They've just come off a great result against Elgin, so we obviously felt confident we get the result today against a team below them, but, you know, we, we stuck at it, you know, as I say, we had a lot of control of the football, a lot of possession in the first half, but, you know, we got there. I think a lot, of, a lot of our passes the second half were going astray, and I've seen yeah. you on the sideline getting a bit frustrated by yeah. not keeping the ball a little bit better, yeah. um, because, and I think even after we scored, that we could have kept the ball a little bit better, yeah. we still continued giving the ball away. I think what you probably see is a nervousness about a team that's no one of yeah. the football matches, you know, and I certainly know I uh, had a lot of things, I was only a fourth, fourth clean sheet of the season, that yeah. if I'm right, and you see a team very nervously trying to make sure that they get the results, so uh, a lot of what we did in the first half in terms of the defensive work, we were very strong, we won the first ball, we cleared up the second ball, and the second half it became a, an almighty scrap, you know, and, I think obviously the opposition have got a hand in that, they're trying to get back in the football match and you know they've hit the post if they go of it, they've got the ball in our box a lot and we looked on the other side towards the end but hopefully we can learn from that and, uh, and move on. And I think you know, that's understandable that the players do become yeah. nervous as you say, they've never had a clean sheet for quite a few games, yeah. you go in front, you want the three points, you badly needed the three points. Um, I find the last five, ten minutes turned into more like a cup final yeah. to me, obviously we were desperate for the win mm -hmm. and we didn't want to concede. Yeah. The turnover in possession was too great, you know, for a team that, that needs to control. Having said that, you know, we find opportunities to break on you, uh, and we should have done better. But again, it was so, so symptomatic of our performance in the second half that we were sloppy in possession. So, you know, I can come away from the game. You know, we can put it to one side for ten minutes, but I've got to be thinking about where we went wrong uh, and look to put that right. We've got other games coming up where we've got to be better. I mean, it's as simple as that. So. You know, a lot of tough games coming up, we need points with every one of them. It's an old cliche, they're all cup finals, everybody's heard it before, but it's important that we learn from the mistakes we made today in terms of, you know, how we gave away possession. There was far too many turnovers on it. Um, and, you know, we're kind of holding on towards the end, to be perfectly honest. But, but that's understandable uh, as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we are desperate for those three points. Well, that's right, yeah, yeah. And that wee bit of desperation does, does come in. A couple yeah. of substitutions that were enforced on us didn't help the, the, the flow of the game either, to be fair. But uh, to be fair to Mikey McKenna, comes on and does what I asked him to do try and steady the ship and, and obviously Big Paul Wilson who was disappointed to be left out at the start came on and, and did a good job for us when McGregor went off so these things have got to flow you know you've got to make sure the substitutions don't weaken your team they come on and they, they help get you where you need to be which they did. Yeah yeah, yeah. it's got to be a, a, an impact on the game yeah. to take us forward. Um, I feel that the three points is fantastic and um, we still got beat yeah. which gives us with them game in hand that gives us a little cushion yeah. Uh, to play with, and that, that's what we need basically. How do you feel on that? I, I said that before the game, the importance of the game, which we always try and highlight, or I do in the team talks, is that you know where we are in the league, and I think the players know the situation. If we had lost today, which was moving away for us, you know, given the results today, um, teams move away, it becomes a, a, a two horse race basically at the bottom of the league, you know. So it's important that we uh, we've got that right and we actually approach the game in the right manner, you know, we had to win the football match. Anyway at all, we had to win it. So it's given us that little bit of confidence again, hopefully a bit of hope. 
uh, I want to be looking at the teams above us in terms of bringing them back to us and trying to catch them, not looking or worrying too much about each still. Yeah. Uh, we can only focus on what we can do in the park, yeah. and that's what we'll continue yeah. to do. And I think the more teams will get in, in the pack, the better. Yeah. Yeah. I'll mention the league. I must mention Blair Henderson, the goal. Uh, well in the, in the lead up to the yeah, he actually had a really good performance today and I don't think it's, you know, it's no unkind to me to say and Blair will agree with you, we've had many discussions, Blair wasn't on the side and, and, uh, and there was a chance that Blair would leave the football club but I think over the last four or five weeks his contribution to the team has been immense, you know, so, you know, I've been delighted with that, you know, we don't have a lot of strikers to pick from and Blair's working his socks off for the team, you know, his hold up play today in particular was good. Uh, you know, he gets the reward for his hard work and uh, you know, he knows that I really knows I've been his fiercest critic, critic but I'll be the first to tell him he's done well and I thought he had a good performance today so uh, as long as that continues and there'll not have any issues with that, you know, it's all about you know, what you can do for the team and Blair uh, is doing as much as he can at the minute and he's chipping in with goals as well which obviously is very welcome. And just finally John, um, next three games, you've got Queen's Park next yeah. Saturday, then we're followed by two home games against Dartworth and Stirling, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're going to get obviously more points from these three games, I would say. I've never never walked into a game expecting to lose it. I've got to say, we've lost games, there's no doubt we haven't played as well as we've been away, but I've never walked into a game thinking we can't win this football match against any team in this division, and I'll, I'll continue like that. That's the way it has to be, you know. My job is to make sure that that influence comes out of the players, that they go in the park feeling that they can win every football match. So, you know, and perfectly honest with you, I don't care who we're playing. You know, I think that we've got to focus on ourselves, how we play, and if we can get the best out of the players and make sure that you know, they're doing their jobs, then we'll be fine. We'll pick up enough points. Um, that's great, John, because I, I, I fully understand what you're saying. Because uh, this league this year and last year, from top to bottom, there isn't one team. Yeah way you can say they'll go yeah. on and win the league, they are a good yeah. team. I find everybody's in the mix and there's no one team better yeah. than anybody else. So well, you don't want to tempt fate, but you know, we've lost to Queen's Park and they've got a great result today and they're pushing to go back up there. So they know the gap points wise between us and them is quite a big gap. But I look at the two teams on, on the, the other night when we played midweek and I think there's nothing in it, you know, there's nothing in it at all. But you know, I think we uh, we can take confidence for today, and we need to go to be one. There's no doubt about that. You know, it's uh, it's been too staccato. We haven't actually put enough wins together, and we haven't had enough clean sheets to warrant you know getting victory. So hopefully that is a turning point today. We've managed to eke out a, a clean sheet. We've managed to get the win. So hopefully that's a starting point for us. That's great. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.